Hi there. Today I'm going to teach you how to install a custom ICC profile for one of our Epson sublimation printers. You can find the ICC profile either on our website or simply send an email to one of our sales staff and they will send you the ICC profile back. First steps would be to copy the ICC profile into an easy accessible location such as the desktop. Once you've copied it there, you copy it again and then you open up a new folder. We need to go to the C drive and then the Windows folder. Under the Windows folder, we scroll down until we see the System32 folder. Inside the System32 folder, you should find a spool folder. The spool folder is the folder that contains all the drivers for your color as well as your printers. Once you've opened it up, you will see that there is a folder called drivers. Open up the driver folder. Then the final step would be to open up the color folder and simply paste the new Epson Titan Sub ICC file into this location. Now you've basically installed the file into the correct folder or directory. Our next step would be to tell the printer to make use of this file. So we simply go to Windows, we go to Printers and Scanners and we locate the Epson printer. Once you found your Epson printer, a simple single click on it will open up three new options. You can click on the Manage option. Once you've opened up the Manage option, our very first step would be to open up the Printing Preferences. Under Printing Preferences, we can set the quality of the printer to high. We can go to More Options and we can remove the High Speed function. Then we need to go to the color correction tab and there change it to custom. Under custom, it will allow us to access the advanced features. Once you've got the advanced features open, simply tick the no color adjustment. This will ensure that the printer won't make use of any color profiles. We will rather allow our graphic design software something like Coral Draw Professional or even Adobe Photoshop to manage colors for us. After you've done all of that, we need to go to Printer Properties, Color Management, and then we open up the Color Management folder. Once we've opened up the Color Management folder, we need to change the device. It defaults onto the monitor. So you click on display and you go down and search for your Epson printer. You click on the Epson printer and you tell Windows to use my settings for this device. The next step would be to change the automatic or recommended profile selection to manual. Once you've done it and it is selected on manual, you can go to add. And now we simply need to browse for our new profile. Remember that the profile is named Epson Titan Sub 1. You can simply click on OK. It will add it to the list of available color profiles. By default, it would be best to set this as the default profile. Once you've done this, you click on Close and OK and you close again. Basically, what we've done now is, is we've installed a new ICC profile into Windows and we've gone and told the printer not to adjust any colors. Now that you've finished installing the color profile, it is time to do a test print. We will be using CorelDRAW Professional, although Photoshop will also work for this. I've drawn up a couple of color bars here and I would like to print this. The first step will be to go to File, Print, 
and then we need to select our printer. In this case, we are printing on the Epson L120 series. You go to color and you leave all the other settings exactly as it is. Color conversions will always be performed by Coral Draw. The output color always needs to be RGB. The rendering intent needs to be relative colorimetric, and you need to keep preserve pure black ticked as well as the RGB numbers. The only change you might have to do is correct colors using the color profile. If you click on this, it will open up a menu with all the available color profiles. Your newly installed color profile will be found under the printer name, in this case the Epson L120. You simply click on this and you select it and then you are ready to print. The same basic steps work for Adobe Photoshop as well. As a very important note, only professional editions of the design software allow you to do color management. Home and Student does not give you any of these options. So it is always important to use the correct graphic design package.